Hello everyone. Hoy les voy a enseñar algunas frases que estudiantes de inglés suelen usar un poco demasiado y algunos son errores. Otras, otras no, uh, pero podemos cambiarlos un poco, podemos mejorarlos un poco para que tengas un, un inglés un poco más suave, un poco más natural, un poco más avanzado. ¿ya? Si tú quieres más lecciones como estas si aprecias mi trabajo, solo te pido que me avises en los comentarios uh, para que sepas cómo yo te puedo ayudar mejor. Ya, empecemos. Si tú quieres que yo te ayude con tu inglés, si quieres que yo te respalde durante tu proceso de aprender inglés, y quieres mejorar tu listening, speaking, fluidez y pronunciación, uh, ven a mi curso Fast Fluidez. Enlace en el primer comentario. Exactly. 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 Tú dices algo, estoy 100% de acuerdo. Así es, exactamente. Exactly. 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 Oh, that's right. That's right. Así es. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's, that is, that's right. That's right. Acá asegúrate de pegar la T y la S. Acá voy a rep representar tu lengua. That, la T, that's. That's, soltando la lengua pero para pegar la S. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That is, that's, mismo movimiento, that's true. That's true. Eso es la verdad. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Sí, absolutamente. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. 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 Nota la acentuación de la palabra ahí. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. 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 No podría estar más de acuerdo. Y eso es un poco más formal para los contextos un poco for más formales en el trabajo, etc. I couldn't agree with you more. 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 Oh, you're absolutely right. Estás absolutamente en lo correcto. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You are, you're, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Nota la vinculación. You're abso. You're absolutely. You're absolutely right. 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 Oh, I think so too. Uh, yo también lo creo. I think so too. 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 Oh, I feel the same. Yo siento igual. I feel the same. I feel the same. I feel the same. Uh, ¿Qué crees tú? I feel the same. You're absolutely right. Combinándolos. I feel the same. I feel the same. I feel the same. I feel the same. También, that's what I think. That's what I think. He's insane. That's what I think. That's what I think. That is, that's, that's. 
That's what I. Vinculando con la R suave. That's what I think. That's what I think. That's what I think. That's what I think. He's insane. That's what I think. He's insane. That's what I think. Oh, that's a very good point. That's a very good point, Cleveland. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. Uh, ese es un punto muy bueno, un buen punto ahí. That's a, that's a very good, no good, más g, uh, uh, good, un sonido que no existe en español. That's a good point. Entrenamiento de la pronunciación a en el primer comentario. That's a good point. That's a very good point, Cleveland. That's a very good point, Cleveland. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. Oh, that's exactly how I feel. 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 Eso es exactamente como siento, como me siento yo, como me siento, como siento yo. Ah, uh, ya, yeah, avísame en los comentarios. That's exactly how I feel. That's exactly how I, how I feel. That's exactly 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 how I feel. La última variación acá. You're telling me. You're telling me. You're telling me. You're telling me. Parece una declaración afirmativa. Y sí es, gramáticamente, you are telling me, tú me estás diciendo. Uh, pero es como, dímelo a mí. ¿ya? Uh, sí, ni me tienes que decir, estoy 100% de acuerdo. You're telling me. 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 Eso no es mi problema. That's not my problem. I'm sorry, that's not my problem. That's not my problem, Jean-Philippe. That's not my problem. That is that's. Tenemos que pegar la T y la S. That's. That's not. Yeah, no tenemos que decir not to. Más not. Deja tu lengua arriba. That's not my problem. That's not my problem. I'm sorry, that's not my problem. I'm sorry, that's not my problem. That's not my problem, Jean-Philippe. That's not my problem, Jean-Philippe. La próxima acá, dos palabras, pero lo usamos muchísimo. So what? So what? So what? So what? So what? Ya, en vez de, I don't care, so what? ¿Y qué? Ya, no me importa. ¿Y qué? So what? So what? So what? So what? So what? So what? Oh, sorry, I'm not interested. Sorry, I'm not interested. Sorry, I'm not interested. Lo siento, no me interesa. No me interesa escuchar lo que está, me estás haciendo ahora mismo. Sorry, I'm not interested. Sorry, I'm, I'm. Cierra los labios, hay que pegar los labios para pegar bien el sonido M. I'm not, not interested. Sorry, I'm 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 not interested. It doesn't matter to me. No me importa. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. It, eso, esa situación, no me importa. ¿ya? O, that doesn't matter to me. Lo que acabas de decir, no me importa. It doesn't matter to me. That doesn't matter to me. It 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 doesn't matter to me. Si no puedes comunicar en inglés como quisieras todavía, Uh, y quieres aprender todas las frases, todas las palabras que vas a tener que saber para sobrevivir en un lugar como Estados Unidos, Canadá, Australia. Uh, fíjate en mi entrenamiento de Starter English. Uh, ahí vas a tener todo lo que necesitas, más audio para entrenar tu oído. 
I couldn't care less. No podría importarme menos. I couldn't care less, Mr. Archer. I couldn't care less. Ojo, muy fuerte, obviamente, pero lo usamos mucho igual. I couldn't care less. Sabes que no me importa para nada. Yeah? I couldn't care less. I couldn't. Couldn't. Nota acá que no es could más que. Uh, un sonido que no existe en español. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less, Mr. Archer. I couldn't care less, Mr. Archer. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. O aún más fuerte, me importa un comino. Uh, I don't. I don't give a damn. Ni me importa para nada. En absolutamente nada. Frankly, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Uh, terminando con sonido M ahí. I don't give a damn. La N muda. I don't give a damn. Frankly, I don't give a damn. Frankly, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Y quizás un poco más fuerte. I don't give a crap. Me importa un carajo. I don't give a crap, Batman. I don't give a crap, sir. I don't give a crap. Me importa un carajo. Uh, y no sé si es mal decir eso en español. De verdad, eh, eso pasa a veces cuando aprendes un idioma en el país. Aprendes qué decir y cuándo decirlo, pero no si sí, es malo o bueno decir. Uh, pero ya. Yeah. I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap. Y es fuerte decir eso, así que ojo. I don't give a crap, Batman. I don't give a crap, Batman. I don't give a crap, sir. I don't give a crap, sir. Y finalmente, ¿a quién le importa? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Muy, muy común. Who cares? Es decir, a mí no me importa. ¿A quién le importa? A nadie, ¿no? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I'm really into, I'm really into, como estoy muy metido a más un sustantivo. I'm into survival. I'm really into fashion. Como I'm really into fashion. Estoy, me gusta mucho la moda, ¿no? I'm really into, más el sustantivo, uh, I'm really into sports. ¿eh? Me encantan los deportes. Estoy muy metido ahí en ese mundo de los deportes. I'm really into, quiero que tú me digas, what are you really into? Uh, dime en los comentarios. Cody, I'm really into. I'm into survival. I'm into survival. I'm really into fashion. I'm really into fashion. I just love más el sustantivo, la cosa ahí que te encanta. I just love dogs. I just love hospitals. Simplemente me encanta X cosa. I just love fashion, por ejemplo. No la verdad para mí, pero yeah, I just love sports. I just love food, ¿no? Hablando como en general, la moda, a deportes, comida, quizás me gusta cocinar, comer, ver por Instagram, todo, ¿no? I just love, más el sustantivo. I just love dogs. I just love dogs. I just love hospitals. I just love hospitals. I'm crazy about... Someone, something. Estoy loco por uh, alguien o algo. I'm crazy about the guy. He's smart. I'm crazy about our place. Ok. El algo en este caso igual los, los, previ los ejemplos, ejemplos previos. Uh, pero con alguien. I'm crazy about her. Estoy loco por ella. Me encanta. Quiero estar con ella todo el tiempo. I'm crazy about her. Y de nuevo. Uh, con los otros ejemplos, I'm crazy about sports, I'm crazy about film, etc. I'm crazy about the guy, he's smart, I'm crazy about the guy, he's smart. I'm 
crazy about our place. I'm crazy about our place. I'm passionate about someone, something. Uh, me, me apasiona alguien o algo. You know, I'm passionate about the, uh, the job. I'm passionate about you. Okay, para mí, el something, la cosa, I'm passionate about teaching. Me apasiona enseñar. Y puedo decir, I'm passionate about teaching English. Okay, uh, what are you passionate about? Let me know in the comments. De qué te apasionas? Yeah? Uh, puedes decir, Cody, I'm passionate about X cosa, X persona. You know, I'm passionate about the, uh, the job. You know, I'm passionate about the, uh, the job. I'm passionate about you. I'm passionate about you. Ahora, una acá, un poco formal, por si acaso que te encuentras en un contexto formal o uh, contexto laboral, ¿no? I'm fond of X cosa, el sustantivo ahí. I'm fond of talent. I'm very fond of music. I'm fond of sports. I'm fond of uh, film. Yeah, I'm fond of también una persona. I'm, I'm very fond of her. I'm very fond of X cosa. I'm fond of talent. I'm fond of talent. I I'm very fond of music. I I'm very fond of music. I'm a huge fan of. I'm a huge fan of. Más un sustantivo o frase nominal. Okay? I'm a huge fan of your work. A huge fan of your music. I'm a huge fan of your work. Estoy, soy un gran mirador de tu trabajo, o la cosa que creas, ¿no? Imaginamos que eres un artista, un cantante. I'm a huge fan of your work, okay? O I'm a huge fan of your music. I'm a huge fan of your work. I'm a huge fan of your work. A huge fan of your music. A huge fan of your music. Sustantivo o verbo in uh, is my thing. Fashion is my thing. Helping is kind of my thing. Teaching is my thing. Yeah? Teaching, enseñar es, lo, es el mío, es lo que a mí me gusta hacer, es lo que a mí me apasiona. Yeah? Teaching is my thing. Fashion is my thing. Fashion is my thing. Helping is kind of my thing. Helping is kind of my thing. I can't get enough of uh, something acá que no puedo tener lo suficiente de algo love dancing can't get enough of it i can't get enough of art y también de una persona ya yeah? uh, pero i can't get enough of his movies que no puedo en este caso uh, mirar lo suficiente de sus películas porque son increíbles o, oh, I can't get enough of you. Yeah? No puedo tener suficiente de ti. Te quiero más y más y más. Yeah? I can't get enough of. Nota acá. Get enough, get enough of. Mucha vinculación. I can't get enough of. Love dancing. Can't get enough of it. Love dancing. Can't get enough of it. I can't get enough of art. I can't get enough of art. Ahora, una uh, para usar si la otra persona, si estás hablando con tu amigo y tu amigo está diciendo lo que a él le gusta, uh, tú puedes decir, en vez de, oh, a mí me gusta eso también, puedes decir, that sounds interesting. That sounds, eso suena, that sounds interesting. Interesting. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. O otra. I like the sound of that. Uh, me gusta como suena eso. Well, I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. En vez de simplemente, I like that, me gusta eso. I like the sound of that. Me gusta como suena eso, esa idea, ese plan que tú tienes, ya, o ese interés. I like the sound of that. Y that, obviamente, el asunto. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. 
I like the sound of that. Al final, la última frase acá, I enjoy, más un sustantivo o verbo en. I enjoy polo. I enjoy staying home. I enjoy teaching. Okay? I enjoy es como disfruto. Disfruto de esta actividad. Okay? What do you enjoy? Let me know in the comments. What do you enjoy? I enjoy polo. I enjoy polo. I enjoy staying home. I enjoy staying home. Can you say, can you say that again? ¿Puedes decir eso de nuevo? No te escuché bien. I'm sorry, can you say that again? I can't hear you. Can, can you say that again? Can you say that? That, esa cosa que acabas de decir, can you say that again? Nota acá, normalmente vamos a vincular that up, that up, con la re suave, that up, again. Nota la acentuación de la palabra again. Can you say that again? Tono subiendo al final de la pregunta. Can you say that again? I'm sorry, can you say that again? I can't hear you. I'm sorry, can you say that again? I can't hear you. Can you say that again? Could you say that again? Could you repeat that? Could you repeat that? ¿Podrías repetir eso? Could you repeat that? Could you repeat that? Could you repeat that? I'm impressed. Vamos a vincular acá. Could you. Con un sonido j, j. Could you. Could you. Could you repeat that? Tono subiendo. Could you repeat that? Could you repeat that? Could you repeat that? Could you repeat that? I'm impressed. Could you repeat that? I'm impressed. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Sorry, I didn't catch that. What was that? Es como, disculpa, no lo agarré, ¿ya? No entendí eso literalmente, pero catch that es como agarrarlo ahí. No lo agarré, ¿ya? Sorry, I didn't catch that. I didn't catch, catch. No toca, tenemos un ch, ch, que no es un sh. Primero hay que bloquear el aire, el aire con la lengua. Catch, catch. Después soltarla. Catch that. Sorry. I didn't catch that. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Sorry, I didn't catch that. What was that? Sorry, I didn't catch that. What was that? I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, lamento haberme perdido eso. I'm sorry, I missed that. I said, I love you. I'm sorry, I missed that again. Eso es lo que acabo de decir. Otra forma de decir, no lo escuché bien. I'm sorry, I missed that. Pero con mucha cortesía acá. ¿ya? I'm sorry, I missed that. Nota la E de acá. Missed. Missed. Uh, vamos a pronunciar como un sonido T. Missed. Missed. Sorry, I missed that. I'm sorry, I missed that. I'm sorry, I missed that. I said, I love you. I'm sorry, I missed that again. I said, I love you. I'm sorry, I missed that again. Could you speak up? Could you speak up, please? Shirley, dear, could you speak up? Quizás eres como yo y no puedes oír muy bien y todos suenan como si están hablando así, muy, muy uh, bajito, ¿no? Could you speak up? Could you? Could you speak up? Puedes hablar un poco más fuerte. Yeah. Could you speak up? Could you speak up, please? Could you speak up, please? Shirley, dear, could you speak up? Shirley, dear, could you speak up? Come again? Come again? Puedes decir, uh, ¿cómo decías? Yeah. Puedes decirlo de nuevo? Come again? Smith, get out of there. Come again, sir? Come again? We found the phone. Come again, muy común acá. Come again, come up, come up again, come again. Smith, get out of there. Come again, sir. Smith, get out of there. Come again, sir. 
Come again? We found the phone. Come again? We found the phone. Esta práxima acá, muy uh, formal, pero también muestra mucha cortesía para usarlo con gente mayor o gente, digamos, que tiene una posición social alta, policía, juez, cosas así, ¿no? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I got worms. I beg your pardon. Quiere decir perdón, disculpe, mande, ¿ya? Yeah? I beg your pardon. I beg your, your, reduciendo el your, pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I got worms. I beg your pardon. I got worms. I beg your pardon. Una acá informal pero muy común. What was that? Put them on the tape. What was that? What was that? What was? What was that? Y that acá la cosa que acaban de decir. What was that? Sorry. What was that? Y si quieres combinarlas acá. Sorry. What was that? Could you say that again? Could you repeat that? Put them on the tape. What was that? Put them on the tape. What was that? What was that? What was that? Could you say that again, but slowly? Podrías decirlo de nuevo, pero más lento. Could you say that again? I'm sorry, could you say that again? Could, could. Tengo todo un video sobre cómo pronunciar could, should, would, que deberías uh, ver. Pero va a ser la L muda, un sonido no could, but could, uh, uh, could, could you. Vinculando, j, j. Could you say that uh, That, uh, could you say that again? Could you say that again? Could you say that again? I'm sorry, could you say that again? I'm sorry, could you say that again? Ok, un par de fáciles, un par de palabras sueltas en vez de I'm not sure. La primera, maybe, quizás, quizás. No estoy seguro. Do you? Maybe. Can I help you? Maybe. 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 La acentuación de la palabra acá, enfatizando la primera sílaba. Maybe. Do you? Maybe. Do you? Maybe. Can I help you? Maybe. Can I help you? Maybe. Perhaps. Quizás. Is it? Perhaps. Anything I might know? Perhaps. Nota acá la acentuación. Per. Per. Ya reduciendo la primera sílaba. Perhaps. Perhaps. Y al final tienes que pegar la P. P. S. P. S. Y la S. Perhaps. Perhaps. Is it? Perhaps. Is it? Perhaps. Anything I might know? Perhaps. Anything I might know? Perhaps. O posiblemente. Possibly. Understanding? Possibly. Possibly? Possibly. 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 No estoy seguro, no? Posiblemente. Possibly. Understanding? Possibly. Understanding. Possibly. 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 O aparentemente. Apparently. What? Three? Apparently. I've been watching. Apparently. 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 Apparently, no estoy seguro. Aparentemente. What? Three? Apparently. What? Three? Apparently. I've been watching. Apparently. I've been watching. Apparently. O supongo que. I guess. I guess you did. I guess you were right. 
Por ejemplo, en vez de, I'm not sure if she did it. No estoy seguro que ella lo hizo. Puedo decir, I guess she did it. ¿Ya? No sé, supongo que sí, pero de verdad estoy mostrando duda para mostrarte que yo no estoy seguro. ¿okay? I guess, I guess. I guess you did. I guess you did. I guess you were right. I guess you were right. O eso depende, ¿no? Uh, depende de, depende de X persona, de lo que ellos dicen, uh, de X cosa, X asunto. It depends, eso depende, o that depends. Do you work on Saturdays? I forget. Well, it depends. Is that racist? That depends. It depends, eso depende, o that depends. Ok, me preguntas algo, en vez de, I'm not sure, uh, that depends, yeah, depende en, con, en el contexto, etc. Ok, it depends, señor Z al final, o that depends. Do you work on Saturdays? I forget. Well, it depends. Do you work on Saturdays? I forget. Well, it depends. Is that racist? That depends. Is that racist? That depends. O parece que. It looks like. It looks like he's asleep. It looks like everything's going well. It looks like. Parece que X cosa está pasando, pero no estoy seguro. Okay? It looks like. It looks like. K -s -k -s. It looks like. It looks like he's asleep. It looks like he's asleep. Looks like everything's going well. Looks like everything's going well. O hasta lo que sé o de lo que sepa. As far as I know. As far as I know, there's only one photograph. As far as I know, you ordered these drinks for yourself. As far as I know. As far as. Far as I, vinculando ahí, as far as I know. As far as I know, ta 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 ta. As far as I know, there's only one photograph. As far as I know, there's only one photograph. As far as I know, you ordered these drinks for yourself. As far as I know, you ordered these drinks for yourself. Otra forma de decir parece que, yeah, it appears, pa pa pa. It appears we've lost him. It appears your sister lied to me. It appears, parece que. It appears. It appears. Vinculando con la re suave. It appears. It appears we've lost him. It appears we've lost him. It appears your sister lied to me. It appears your sister lied to me. Y al final, a la última acá, otra forma de decir no que yo sepa. Not that I'm aware of. Well, not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm aware of. Let me check. Not that I'm aware of. Poco formal, pero para que tengas también uh, frases para contextos formales. Not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm. That I'm aware of. Mucha vinculación ahí. Not that I am aware of. Well, not that I'm aware of. Well, not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm aware of. Let me check. Not that I'm aware of. Let me check. Y si quieres saber todas las reglitas de saber cómo y cuándo vincular las palabras en inglés, fíjate en mi uh, mini curso de fluidez. También enlace en el primer comentario. Mil gracias por llegar al final del video. Si llegaste aquí, déjeme saber en los comentarios. Si quieres seguir aprendiendo conmigo, tienes varias formas de hacerlo. Uh, tenemos entrenamientos 100% gratis que puedes uh, bajar en el, el enlace del primer comentario. También tengo cursos pagados donde vas a estar trabajando conmigo, con mis profesores, para mejorar tu inglés lo más rápido que se pueda. ¿okay? Uh, y 
No te olvides suscribir a este canal porque estamos produciendo contenido cada semana para ayudarte a llevar tu inglés al próximo nivel. Mil gracias a todos que han venido a Patreon para apoyar este canal. Mil gracias a cada uno de ustedes. Hasta entonces, que estés muy bien. Chao, chao.